This is no ordinary aircraft preparing for takeoff in the U.S. state of Washington. It's powered by two electric motors, which means that flights have zero emissions and are quiet. Alice can carry nine passengers plus baggage or just over one ton of cargo. It has a range of 400 kilometers. For the man at the helm of the company that built Alice, this electric plane is hopefully the start of a revolution in aviation. Half of all of the world's air traffic is actually made of flights that are 500 nautical miles or less, but a full 20 to 30% is, is 250 nautical miles per less. So it means that there's a tremendous market for Alice and its capabilities. Aviation has been inundated with orders and inquiries since the successful maiden voyage in September 2022, with Alice securing over $5 billion in contracts. That flourishing business is also due to the growing weight of climate and environmental issues, and not just since the Fridays for Future movement hit the headlines. For years now, the aviation industry has been facing growing criticism and pressure. So with airlines around the world stepping up efforts to become more energy efficient and climate friendly, Alice has arrived right on time. Short haul aviation's dirty little secret is that it's actually the most polluting form of, of travel in the world. So carbon dioxide per passenger mile from a short haul flight uh, is again, it's as bad as it gets. Um, with Alice, we're taking that and completely inverting it uh, because with Alice, there are no specific emissions. Nothing comes out of the airplane, no, no, no carbon, no exhaust and very little noise. An aircraft with zero emissions and minimal noise is certainly an attractive prospect for cargo operators such as DHL. The logistics giant has a fleet of several hundred planes ferrying packets and parcels around the world via its intercontinental network of air hubs. Stephanie Lotta is in charge of global air fleet planning at DHL. Alice was an immediate no-brainer for her, not least with DHL having committed to making operations carbon neutral by 2050. Alice essentially comes with a range of 460 kilometers and a payload of 1200 kilos. Um, so it equates to the smallest feeder aircraft that we operate in our network today. And um, so it's an ideal fit, we don't have to think about it. We can simply deploy it uh, where the fuel burning aircraft uh, flies today, Alice will fly in future. Everything else stays the same. DHL primarily uses those smaller aircraft for flights in the US and the Caribbean, where they connect the big air hubs with smaller local airports. It's in such remote areas that electric aircraft boast a major advantage due to both zero emissions and above all minimal noise pollution, an issue that has in many cases led to night flight bans. Stephanie Lotta at least wasted no time getting DHL on board. The company has already ordered 12 cargo versions of Alice, scheduled to take to the skies in 2027. The most logical step for us was to deploy Alice where it gets certified, namely in the United States. There are uh, two of our regional hubs in the States. One is near uh, the Los Angeles area, the other one in California, the other one is in uh, Georgia, uh, Atlanta, Georgia. Back at aviation headquarters in Arlington in the state of Washington, the team are currently discussing new improvements to Alice's engines. Customers' requests and requirements have been constantly fed into the evolution of Alice. And having a heavyweight like DHL seeing the aircraft's potential years ahead of its certification has been a real boon. So having DHL come in as, as one of our launch customers um, actually demonstrated not, not just to ourselves but also to the marketplace that there is a real interest in this aircraft and in, in, in the applications that we're designing it for. And we've been able to leverage that relationship not just for the learning but also to help you know, expand our market presence uh, and that's helped us uh, build up to what is now a, a, a order book of $5 billion. Alice's debut flight in 2022 was also the big takeoff for her maker. There is no end in sight to the queue of new clients and a growing number of investors interested in the technology. 
Steve Crane had years of experience test flying new planes for Boeing before he joined aviation. And an electric aircraft, he says, is a very different beast. And not just because the motors respond far faster than conventional kerosene-powered engines. But will the wider world share his enthusiasm? That's interesting. Uh, are people afraid of transitioning to an electric aircraft? Uh, I, would, I would think the public is ready for it. I mean, you, you see all the electric vehicles that are out on the market, and the auto industry as a whole going to electric. I think you're going to see a lot more of acceptance um, from, you know, just vehicles on the ground, cars to aircraft. It's just the once people are exposed to that, I think the comfort level goes up. A decisive factor in the prospects for electric aircraft like Alice will be the batteries. Technical improvements would give the planes a longer range and higher payload, and therefore a wider scope of deployment too. It's kind of, uh, it's form fitting. The batteries, these panels come off and they're modular. They just go right underneath from here all the way to here is, are the batteries. You have a left side and you have a right side. And just clamshells and this, this cover goes right over the top of them. That's the high voltage system, which is running your engines right back there. And the battery charging times have gotten shorter. It now takes just 30 minutes to provide enough power to reach the next destination on the plane's multi-stop daily schedule. How long does it take to fuel an airplane about this size? You're still looking at about a 10 or 15 minute evolution. You know, you're still, are, you're, you're still pulling the truck up, grounding. You go to each individual tank or you have a pressure um, a single pressure point that you'd uh, apply fuel to. It takes a while to fuel an airplane. It's a very exciting time in battery development. We see new technologies that are coming on are, are offering quite promising boosts to the uh, energy density of the batteries going from 275 water per kilogram to 375 to even 500. And these are cells that exist today. A development that DHL is following closely. Better batteries leading to an increase in aircraft size, range, and maximum load would also enable an expansion of the electric flight network. Gregory Davis is expecting demand to continue growing steadily and is already preparing to take production of Alice to the next level.